Master George Borkard, and this is another Higher Things video short. The Transfiguration of Our Lord Jesus Christ. That's the subject of today's Higher Things video short. Hey, if you love our videos, if you're learning about your Christian faith in two places you never expected to learn about your faith from, a Missouri Synod Lutheran pastor, he took it off the carom. And as Jack Russell Terrier named Thor, go ahead and like and subscribe today. You can also go to support.higherthings.org and give today. Your tax-deductible gift keeps Higher Things, a youth organization, all about passing the faith to the next generation. We will, if you're a parent watching this video, if you're an adult watching this video, if you're a, <laughs> if you're an old person watching this video, we're passing the faith to you so you can pass it to them. And if you're a young person watching this video, that's what we're all about. Give today. The traditional one-year historic lectionary, which didn't fall from heaven, but, it, you know, it's good for, for teaching purposes, uh, has us uh, yesterday having the Transfiguration, Matthew 17. After Jesus, after six days, Jesus took with him Peter and John, and Peter and James and his brother John, the sons of thunder, and led them up a high mountain by themselves, and he was transfigured before them. The Greek word is metamorphose. He was metamorphosized. He was changed. His face shone like the sun. His clothes became as white as light. Phos. Behold, there was Moses and Elijah appearing with him, taking with him, talking with him. Uh, Luke says that they were talking about his exodus in Jerusalem. Um, his exodus. His exodus. We'll get to that in a second. And Peter said, Lord, it is good for us to be here. It's good, Lord, for us to be here. Somebody should make that a hymn. If you wish, I will make three tents, one for you and one for Moses and one for Elijah. While he was still speaking, behold, a bright cloud overshadowed them and a voice from the cloud said, this is my beloved son with whom I'm well pleased. Hear him. When the disciples heard this, they fell on their faces and were terrified but Jesus came and touched them, saying, Rise, do not fear. Get up. Resurrect. Have no fear. And they lifted up their eyes and they saw Jesus only. And as they were coming down the mountain, Jesus commanded them, Tell no one the vision until the Son of Man is raised from the dead. Epiphany goes out with a boom. Jesus on the mountain, shining with all the glory and majesty of Almighty God. God for us. God with us. Just the way we like him. And he's us. He's our Jesus. Oh, for 3. He's our Jesus. And he's shining like the sun. But that Jesus does us no good because when Jesus comes in power and glory and might, we poor sinners end up running for cover. You know, it was fine while Peter's like, hey, it's all of us there. We're going to have this retreat and this retreat's going to go on forever. We're having literally a mountaintop experience. But mountaintop experiences don't work because when you come down from the mountain, everything about your life goes back to the way it was before. And the way it was before is full of sin and pain and suffering. So Jesus has this moment with them. And he talks with Moses and Elijah about his exodus. I love that in Luke's gospel. Finally, his exodus, which is about to take place in Jerusalem. He is going to go to the cross. So what is he talking about on the mountain? What is he showed up with all his glory and power and majesty and might with? He's talking about the cross. Let's see if he can do this. You see it, buddy? Oops. Bad throw, bad throw. Stay where you are. Oh, my fault. It's like LSU without Joe Burrow. Um, he's talking about the cross. He's talking about saving you. That's what the transfiguration is all about. He wants to save you. And when God rolls in, when Peter's giving his opinion, when Peter's let, letting it, oh Lord, it's so great that we're here on this mountaintop. You can see the cloud rolling in behind. You know, it's like a horror flick. The cloud's rolling in and Peter doesn't know what's going on. And all of a sudden, there's God. This is my beloved son, 
with whom I'm well pleased. And as the rock says, know your role and shut your mouth, Peter. I mean, hear him. Stop talking and listen. And that brings us in out of epiphany. Stop what you're thinking. Stop thinking about God the way you think about God and let God be God for you. Let the scriptures speak to you rather than you speak to you. And what the scriptures are all about, what this is all about, is what's going to happen in the Lenten season. Jesus is going to die for you. And when everything seems so God that they can't handle it anymore, they look up and there's only Jesus. Fear not. Raise. Rise. Stand up. When you can't, this is reminding me of Advent, when when everything is going, look up for your redemption draws near. Your Jesus draws near. The transfiguration is about preparing you for this last mountaintop experience before the Lenten season where your eyes need to get off of what you think, what you think is great, what you know is great, and go straight to the one who's headed for the cross to save you. In him, there is no fear. In him, there is life. So repent of what you think, feel, and know, and listen to him. He alone saves. I'm Pastor George Barkart, and this has been another Higher Things video short.